So good evening everyone. I am Rashmi Patil and I work with Advice International. I've been working with Advice for 14 years and we have just completed about 30 years um, of, uh, you know, 30 years uh, Advice is completed, which is basically a very, very good thing for most of us. We really love working with our company because of various reasons and it also helps us to uh, help the students as well to go abroad. Now, well, I got an opportunity to speak about uh, part-time jobs uh, overseas. What exactly is the opportunities for the students, uh, what they can do with different countries as such. Uh, let's start with the country which I deal in, uh, my favorite country, UK. Uh, UK is one of the countries wherein um, students are given opportunities to work part-time, certainly. And over the period of years, they have. 20 hours is what the UK government allows the students to work on part-time on the tier 4 visa. And there are certain period of time of the year during your vacations you get to work about 40 hours. Now students have to understand that the stamped visa has some kind of legal aspect. So hence they have to ensure that they are working in the hours which has been allotted to them. Every, the undergraduation uh, part-time jobs are different, post-graduation is different and the foundation is different. So foundation usually will allow 10 or fetch about 20, 10 hours of uh, working. Maybe some of the foundation will not allow you to work. Undergraduation and post-graduation students are allowed to work 20 hours per week and 40 hours during the vacation time, which is basically in abroad the vacation time is your Christmas break or it can be your midterm breaks, your summer breaks and it can be your Easter breaks. So there are different different time and variation of time that you will be able to work part time. This is applicable to almost all the countries and it's a general information for all the countries but in the UK also uh, it is applicable. So in the UK when you're working 20 hours uh, with any of the any of the part time jobs that you plan to take, which I will, uh, which I will mention at the end of the pro end of the session, what are the kind of part time jobs that you can actually do, and examples I can give you of the students what they have been doing. Uh, so in the UK, when you're doing twenty hours per uh, uh, per hour, I mean twenty hours is what has been allot allotted to the student. You are you will be paid a minimum wage, which is as per the country's wage. So for an hourly wage, if a student is 18 years and above, they get about 6.15 per hour. And if any student is 21 years and above, they get 7.70 per hour. That is pounds I'm talking about. So every hour, you will be able to fetch about 6.15 to 7.70, depending upon the age limit that you are into. The other country uh, which I deal in is Ireland. Ireland has a similar kind of uh, working hours limitations wherein the students is allowed to work for 20 hours and 40 hours. But certainly the student who is planning to go on a student visa to Irish University has to be registered with the police, with the GNIB, the Granada, uh, I think it's the Granada Ministry of uh, Immigration Bureau. So. You have to be registered with them so that you will be able to work part time in the Ireland. And certainly the course has to be registered and allowing you to do the part time jobs. So and mostly it's for the post graduation level that it has to be an NQF level seven program that the students are able to uh, able to get the part time jobs. Now I'm just going to refer my notes wherein I'm going to be mention the entire uh, entire amount that the student will be able to get hourly uh, which is 8.65 to 9.80 euros in the UK it was pound in Ireland it is euros it's a European uh, country and hence that is a reason it gives the wages in euro uh, your Euro, uh, in euros so the student are able to work part-time jobs in Ireland as well there's another country which also allows you to uh, work part-time job is Canada. Canada is allowing, uh, it's very popular amongst the students and certainly allows uh, allows the students to do part-time job during the duration of the study that they have. And they allow about 20 hours per week. Now, 
what I have read about the information, they allow the student uh, to work up to 40, uh, within 40 hours is what they mention on most of the websites. But uh, 10 Canadian dollars is what the students are able to fetch the amount. And the student's average uh, salary that the student average I'm talking about per hourly that student will be able to fetch the amount is 22 Canadian dollars so every hour you're getting 10 Canadian dollars but in an average if you work for 20 hours you get a 22 uh, uh, 22 Canadian dollars so that is the amount that you'll be able to fetch during your part-time jobs USA is one country which doesn't allow the student to work in the first year but for certain uh, visas, which is an F1 and M1 visa, the student are allowed to work, but on particular uh, particular uh, training programs, and that is not applicable in blanket rule for all. Mostly, the student who is planning to go for USA will not be allowed to work for 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 the one complete years, and uh, certainly the working hours uh, which a student can work is up to forty hours, which fetches them seven to nine. Um, seven to nine dollars now you also have to understand there are other countries also that we deal with with Australia and New Zealand sharing the similar kind of boundaries of working hours which is up to 40 hours fortnightly which is like 14 days fortnightly means that and student will be able to fetch about 18.23 uh, Australian dollars for an hour and about 18.93 for New Zealand dollars so that's the hourly wages that the students will able to get during the part-time studies that they do. Dubai, yes, it's one of the recent countries who's allowing the student to work part-time, but they allow only with 23 institutions in Dubai. And you have to have a work permit to basically work in Dubai. So ensure that you get those kind of things with, and you have to get back to the university in Dubai and ask for those permissions. Now, Part-time job is encouraged, but it's not a means of basically earning. What what your entire intention is to go and study. Part-time jobs is an additional benefit on your visas which you get. And it certainly allows the student to spend some hours of working so that they can actually get an access to the amount for their daily, daily needs. It could be your... It could be for your travel, it could be your house rent, a minimum amount you're paying for your house rent weekly. It could be for any amount of uh, grocery that you're buying or it could be for your luxuries which you want to take up. Uh, certainly part-time jobs, most of the academics would not encourage and certainly we would also not encourage after a particular limit. We would not mention the students to work completely 20 hours or 40 hours. It's always a benefit for a student to work maybe, maybe uh, about 10 to uh, 15 hours because it helps the students according to their entire uh, entire visas are going for studies mostly part-time job is like a additional bonus for the students there are a lot of uh, part-time jobs that the students can do I mean part-time jobs will be available for the students in which they can actually be a student ambassador which is one of the best jobs the students can get because they are actually encouraging the other students to come down and study at the particular universities the college that they are studying in and they are also allowing the student to inform them about what the campus is all about and introducing them and in fact encouraging the students and welcoming the students to the university it's the best kind of a job and usually fetches nine pounds per hour or maybe equivalent uh, amount in the other countries as well. UK encourages a student ambassador option, which is one of the best options for students to work in the international office. Uh, the other kind of jobs that a student can look into is in like animal care. Uh, and mostly in the European countries, animal care uh, is one of the very uh, predominant jobs that the students can get. And you're certainly in highly paid because you will have uh, uh, you will have to take care of them. And it is not time consuming. It's fun. You know, it's one of the things that the student would love to do. Uh, in uh, the other part of the world, there is something known as babysitting that a student can do. And 
it's not very complicated it's just handling the kids or supervising the kids over there so usually it is more uh, more of a kind of an options for the students to look at you can assist a professor you can uh, in, fact, in fact help him with his academic uh, and uh, with his uh, papers and everything these are another kind of job that the student can go the popular kind of job that most of the students across the uh, across the country is would love to do is uh, working with a restaurant or working with uh, working as a bartender or working with um, any kind of uh, you know fast food uh, fast food uh, uh, companies like uh, Domino's or maybe KFC. KFC is very popular in, uh, in Ireland and yes with other countries as well so it's basically not taxing um, it is tiring but not taxing due to which the students will not be having any problems with the academics. That is one of the jobs that the students can look out for and it's a very very good option also and plus you get tips as well and it is a respected job all across apart I mean all across the world and um, there are other kind of jobs that the students can do like for example one of my students uh, had taken up a uh, have taken an international uh, student uh, student license from India and he was able to be uh, drive in the UK and he used to help the other students to come down or probably from their entire vicinity he used to take them and uh, drop them at the university which he was studying at and he used to earn from that as an option some students can make a kind of food for the other poor people some students can help in assignments there have been ample of students who are helping assignments and they charge these are the options also available for as a part time for the students tutorials that there are some students who take tutorials and especially where the students have a, a benefit of taking a benefit of learning language just from India itself they take up these options of tutorials and they can work with the International Center of the University as well uh, my student had actually given me a very good feedback uh, from two different countries mentioning that uh, they had worked with the restaurant and during the uh, bigger events like bigger uh, events with uh, with maybe a music band or probably with any other options like uh, football uh, football uh, uh, you know uh, treat that is going on uh, students are able to fetch a lot of a uh, lot of uh, money that time during the part-time jobs and obviously they are able to take away food at home there were students who were able to get food also at home and you know were being uh, allowed to eat over there at the restaurant as well so there are different kind of jobs as well and there are other kind of jobs which is available for the students in line with the um, Maybe the student wants to become a store manager or he wants to basically uh, work with any kind of companies. There are many of the companies who invite the students as well for part-time jobs and internships as well. Uh, the part that the student has to be really, really, really careful about is that the student has to ensure that they do not break the legal terms of the visa that they are going on. It's very important that the student work on that area. So that's it from my end about part-time jobs and I think this is the major information which, uh, which will help the student to understand that during the studies they can also work in different various countries. So if there are any kind of question particularly about this area, please do put up in the chat box. Uh, so I'll be waiting for some questions. Just gotta check. Uh, okay, UK part time jobs for PG. The question comes up. Yes, there is a possibility for the student to uh, uh, take up uh, job options for UK as well. They can. There is a lot of options for the PG student that the they, uh, that they can look into. The first thing that the student have to understand is first understand the entire milestone that you have how much hours are you going to study at the universities how much hours you need to give at the universities and the spare time that you have you have to take up those hours for your part-time jobs 
so when you are talking as a PG student you need to understand there are a lot of kind of studies that you are going to do in that your academics is going to carry case studies your academics is going to carry a lot of uh, other kind of elements as well when you will have to at attend a lot of uh, uh, you know seminars or probably do uh, do presentations and also assignments so whatever time you have left during the weekends or during after your studies as well you can utilize that time uh, for your post graduation uh, work in the UK uh, UK as I earlier mentioned has allowed the student if you are 18 years there is a different wage limit and if you are uh, if you are 21 years there is a different age limit when you're working in the UK the hours Per hour, the student will be able to get six point fifteen uh, pounds and uh, seven point seventy if they are twenty one. Six point fifteen for eighteen years and below, and seven point seventy uh, is what the amount that the student will be able to get for twenty one and above. Very popularly uh, known for helping the students to get jobs in the UK and the important websites mostly which is very common with most of the universe most of the countries is indeed is one of indeed.co is one of the website which is very very popular for the, amongst the students to uh, get jobs then uh, there is uh, other kind of like monsters there you can also go back to your campuses uh, and uh, request whether there are part-time jobs available at the university on campus or anybody is looking out for any kind of uh, work option outside so that is one of the things which is there for the post graduation studies any further questions okay uh, do visit our websites uh, and uh, whichever part of the uh, part of india you are from you can visit our uh, visit our uh, our um, uh, offices at the various locations um, any information else you want to know about part-time jobs you can talk to the counselors and find out more information as to what kind of part-time jobs their particular students have taken a different destination for the different countries that I've spoken about uh, and um, also uh, thank you very much for listening to me any further questions do visit our website www.adviceinternational.com and obviously there are a lot of uh, information videos available on Facebook and Insta which you can refer to as well and do connect with us uh, on an iMeet which we have an option for the students to come down for counseling session which is opened up for, the, uh, for students uh, which is an on online counseling that is also where you can get the information thank you very much have a good day and a good evening thank you <laughs>